Hello, we are here with the Camp Park X35 action camera, which we purchased on Amazon for between $80 and $100. This is a 2.7K video test with the image stabilization turned on. We're going to cross the street. We're going to walk around just to show you how good the video quality is with the image stabilization. Just trying to keep the camera still. It's a separate feature on this camera, the Camp Park X35 action camera between 80 and 100 dollars we bought it on amazon and here is the cameras to show you i have a little mirror with me to show you um, this is the camp park x35 this is what we're filming with right now 2.7k video test with the image stabilization feature turned on so i'm gonna let you decide do you think it's good quality do you think the quality is a little bit pixelated? Personally, when I made some tests with the image stabilization on, I it was my perception that the quality got a little bit worse. However, I thought the feature, the image stabilization feature did work very well, and I'm gonna let you see for yourself what you think. I'm just climbing up right now. Normally with the image stabilization turned off, this camera would be shaking a lot. That's a cool feature. That you can have on a camera that is less than a hundred dollars and i've actually just bought another action camera um recently the company van top v-a-n-t-o-p which also i think might have an image stabilization feature so it's going to be very interesting to see what that looks like as well so let's see i'm just kind of jogging right now is it shaking do you like the uh, image stabilization? Is it? How do you think it looks? Is the quality okay? Again, this is the Cam Park X35 action camera that we purchased on Amazon for less than $100, between $80 and $100. We're just taking a walk right now, so you can see if if all the walking we're doing is causing the image quality to look shaky and that mean the camera to look shaky or if you think that the stabilization it's doing its job okay we're just walking up <clears throat> it's a beautiful early evening sunday april 4th 2021 as you know as you might know you can find lots and lots of action cameras on Amazon, some of them for around $50, which produce great quality video. Some of them, of course, for more than $50, which also have great video and possibly even more features, like this camera here, the Camp Park X35, which has um, image stabilization as one of its features, as well as the ability to record in supposedly 4K resolution at 30 frames per second and various other resolution settings such as uh, there's a sun setting over there such as 1080p 120 frames per second obviously this is not going to be the best kind of camera that you can buy you can of course spend more money buy something like a gopro camera you've probably heard of that brand it's very popular and some other manufacturers which also make cameras that will probably be expensive as well starting at around $200 or more of course depending on how much you're willing to spend but just keep in mind that in this day and age as technology changes you can find some really interesting products in this case we're talking about cameras that will really be for anyone's budget just make sure you don't go and spend $20 on a camera in my own personal opinion and I say that because it might be tempting if you see a camera for $30 or I mean not three for $20 on Amazon and there are some cameras that are around $20 or less like this camera I bought for $14 a while back which you can find a video if you want but more often than not those cameras are not going to record quality that we would consider high resolution despite what it might say on the box more often than not you will need to spend a certain amount to get that HD quality video capture so Anyways, we're just walking around right here. You can see, do you like the video quality? Again, in my personal opinion, 
when we got the image stabilization turned on with this particular camera, I found that the quality suffered a little bit. However, the effect was great. The, the video I thought was very stabilized. And um, that's really, I guess, what this feature is for. I mean, if you're going on vacation, you maybe have some kind of attachment to have the camera around your neck, it's really beneficial if it's not shaky. Because without the image stabilization, right now, the camera would be shaking and it would be impossible to see anything. So, there's the sun setting over there. It's really a really beautiful day for making some test videos. Anyways, like I said earlier, as you can see here, this is the Camp Park X35. Well, maybe it's reflected uh, backwards right now, but this is a camera, not the cheapest camera and not the most expensive one either, which you can purchase on Amazon. I like this company, Camp Park, and I say that because not because I'm affiliated or anything, it's because I bought one previously, which was the Campark X25, and I very much like that camera, and it was around $50 or less, and it produced fantastic video, in my opinion, for the price. So action cameras are great, that you can really use them for things that you might not want to use a traditional camera for, such as uh, activities where, or, or, or locations you're pointing the camera where you might not be afraid to get dust on the lens. Um, these cameras are good for that because you can just wipe the lens with the cloth. It's not a big deal. Whereas some other machinery, um, those traditional point and shoot cameras, oh, it's a nice sunset. Those traditional point and shoot cameras, you might not want, you wouldn't be, if you would be kind of more afraid to, uh, they may be not, um, built for that kind of usage like they're, they're not as rugged this is a small device as you can see this is a small device the Camp Park X35 these action cameras are typically very small they're versatile you can you have them in the underwater housing so if it's drizzling outside it's raining a little bit nothing's really going to happen to it because it's in the housing and um, as one example if I'm on vacation and I'm at the beach maybe if I want to get a really good video of the ocean I can put this camera in the sand, especially if it's in the underwater housing. I can put this camera in the sand to film the ocean, to film the waves going up to the beach, and I'm not, not afraid of anything happening to it. A, because I might have the underwater housing on, <clears throat> and B, because even if I didn't, sure, if some dust or some dirt gets in the lens, I'll just wipe it off. It's not, it's those cameras that are really built for those all sorts of different adventures. And the good news is, they are not very expensive. You can get one for $50 or less if you just shop around. But of course, always look for sample footage on YouTube just like you're looking at this video right now. Again, this is a 2.7K video test with the Campark X35 action camera, 2.7K, with the image stabilization turned on. So hopefully you can get a sense of how well the image stabilization is doing. Do you like the video quality? This is 2.7K. Of course, we can also record it 4K. We can record it 1080p. A beautiful Sunday, early evening, six around 6:50 p.m. I have to go back to work tomorrow, but that's okay. I'm trying not to trying not to think about work right now. Just thinking about this great camera that we just bought. Go ahead and YouTube. Um, look on Amazon. Find some cameras and just um, search around for sample footage and look at many videos. I mean, really just scrutinize it because that's the great thing about YouTube. You can find reviews about of just about any product like this one. Anyways, I think that'll really do it. You've probably, by now, if you're still watching this part of the video, thank you, uh, you probably have a sense of how good you think the video quality is. I know it's not very sunny right now, but at the very least, you should have a sense of did the image stabilization do its job? Do you think that this footage looks stabilized? Um, and I hope I hope it is. I'm going to take a look at this footage as soon as I transfer it to the computer. Again, one last time, just so you see that I am filming with this camera. I got this little mirror with me right here. Just a regular little mirror. The Campark X35. Action camera. Okay, I think this video is just about done. Thank you for watching this 2.7k video test with image stabilization on one of the many camcorders that you can find on Amazon. This particular one was between $80 and $100, but please 
before you buy anything, do your research and don't just necessarily assume that more expensive cameras will have better footage because personally, the Campark X25, which I bought before this one, has just as good quality, in my opinion, if not a little bit better than this one. But this one has more features like image stabilization. So really think about what kind of features you're looking for, how much you're willing to spend, and for whatever camera you're researching, how good you think the video quality looks on YouTube from other people's sample video recording tests. Um, we're just going to go over here next to the track, and then we're going to end this video. So um, thanks for watching. I'd really enjoy testing out these cameras because I'm always curious how much value you can get from buying a camera for less than $100. And sometimes the value can be very good, especially if you consider the fact that these action cameras will <clears throat> they will be packaged with some great accessories that might be very useful depending on how you're planning to use the camera. So this has been a 2.7K video test with the Cam Park X35 action camera with the image stabilization turned on. Thanks for watching this video and have a nice day.